Well, hello there, listener. It looks to me like I spotted myself a fellow collector. Now, I know I like to collect things like posters and T-shirts and action figures of all my favorite video games and TV shows. And Loot Crate makes that possible. And if you're a fan of this show, I know you love all things Fallout. And Loot Crate has a very specific Fallout-type crate. And if you want to take 15% off of your order, head on over to the link in the show notes below and enter Robots Radio at checkout. That's LootCrate.com. Robots Radio presents... Broadcast, a Fallout story. What's going on? I'm... I'm scared, Mom. Why are these sirens going off and... Why does everybody look so angry? Mom, I'm scared. It's okay, little bear. Don't worry. Just keep your head down and follow me. But, but Mom... Where are we going? We are going to get you on that bus. Just stay with me, sweetheart. Um, excuse me, ma'am. This this bus is for Essential Vault Tech University professors and students only. I'm Professor Burton. Here is my Vault Tech ID and 76 resident papers. Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. These papers show only reservations for one Professor Molly Burton. It uh, it doesn't show here any access for a child as well. Yes, I understand that, but I am not boarding. My son will be going in my place. Mom. What, what do you mean? You're not going with me? Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I, I just can't allow that. I have the overseer's approval for the transfer of residence. Uh, okay, well, give me just one second to radio this in for approval. With all due respect, sir, we haven't got the time. Written right there is the overseer's approval. So you can be responsible for denying a direct approval from Voltec, Or you can please move aside and let him board. Hey, yes, ma'am. Sorry, I'll step aside. Now listen, sweetie. I'm going to need you to be brave for me. Be my strong, brave little bear. But mom, I'm too scared. I I don't want to go without you. Please don't make me leave. It's all going to be fine, little bear. I promise everything is going to be okay. Remember the pictures of that big vault mommy was working on? (laughs) Yes, ma'am. That's where you're going to be going, and there is a lady there. She's going to make sure everything is okay. You can call her Overseer. Just do everything she tells you, and I promise everything is going to be okay. But but what about you? Don't you worry about me, sweetie. I'm going to be fine. I promise. Now go. We don't have much time. No, Mom, don't make me go. No, Mom... Mom! Mom! Hey, buddy. Shit, Carl. Man, what the hell are you doing in here? I heard you moaning and crying when I was walking by your cabin, so I figured I'd come to see what was up. 
Not cool, man. Not cool. It's kind of weird to watch people sleep. Were you having that dream again? Yeah. Um, ever since I found that tape, I just heard my mom's voice. I can't seem to stop having that nightmare. I don't know why I remember that day so vividly. It makes me not even want to go to sleep anymore. <sighs> Anyways, doesn't matter. What time is it? It's morning time, buddy. And it looks like we got a rad storm headed this way. But let's not let a bit of irradiated rain dampen the good news I got for you. Good news, huh? Yep. In fact, you might call it great news. I was able to clean up some of that audio on that hollow tape. Carl, that is great news. I mean, seriously. Now, now. Before you go and get excited, it's not completely fixed. The audio still cuts in and out in most parts. But, there's some stuff on here I think you're going to want to hear. That's great. I was really hoping something in that pile of junk I brought back would somehow help. Let me just get up and go get some coffee and I'll, I'll meet you over at your cabin. Sounds good, buddy. storm does look like it's going to be an ugly one. Make note for later. Drop a tarp over the garden before the storm to protect crops from rad damage. Alright, first things first. Let's go check out what Carl's got for me. Carl, I'm here. I'm ready to see what you've got so far. You go on and grab a seat while I get this loaded up. Now remember, it's not completely fixed yet, but I am making some progress. I was able to dismantle the old holotape and rebuild it using parts from those extra blank holotapes you found last week. And like I said, it's not completely fixed yet. But I do think you're going to appreciate what I found so far. This is Molly Burton. Voltec ID badge number 23A6G9. I'm recording this message for you, son. Because there is so much more to everything going on. It has been six years since I sent you to the vault. But by the time you'll be able to hear this message, a lot will have changed. I'm sitting here looking at this old picture of you and your dad. It's the one from that Christmas when we got you the Unstoppables board game. Your dad would always try and aggravate you by picking Grognak first. <sighs> oh, my sweet little bear. Oh, how I miss you. 
I will never fully understand the pressure that we put you under. Just believe me when I say your father and I only wanted for your safety. The world has changed so much in just six years. I know you probably have so many questions and are wondering if or how I am still alive. Only time will tell. But one thing is certain. I don't want you to try and find me. I have more important things I need you to take care of. If possible, I will find you when the time is right. The main thing I want you to know and understand is that Voltec University holds the answers. In the classroom next to my office, there is a powered down Mr. Handy robot named Professor Hamilton. I have loaded a database into his memory core, so seek out Professor Hamilton and repair him, but do not leave him after you retrieve the database. I programmed him to work for you. All you need to do is confirm yourself as owner by dropping in a DNA sample. A lock of your hair should do the trick. No, wait. Carl, what are you doing? Let it keep playing. There's no point. The audio is still dirty and scrambled from there. But based on the timestamp, it does show that there's still about a minute of audio left. Okay, so how, how do we get the rest of the audio? I know that this is going to sound silly, but I'm going to need some literal cleaning supplies. The polyester film in the tape is just too corroded to get any more audio. I was able to get most of the tape cleaned with a bit of spit and Nuka Cola drops, but the rest is just too damaged. Okay, so what do you need to clean it? Well, to be honest, it's a bit of a delicate process. Getting some Abraxo cleaner should be powerful enough to do the trick. The only thing is, if I apply too much, it could eat through the film, destroying it completely. Okay, so I need to find some Abraxo cleaner laundry detergent. Should be simple enough. Yeah, but it's not that simple, though. We could lose whatever is left on the tape. And whatever answers you were looking for would be gone for. Ever. Yeah, I, I get that, Carl, but you said it's too dirty to clean any other way, and well, I see no other way. It's a risk that we're just gonna have to take. There's an old Super Duper Mart in Morgantown that I think I can most likely get some Abraxo from, and since I need to go to Vault Tech University anyway to retrieve that robot, I can stop by there first and grab those supplies. I wouldn't head that way today. This rad storm looks pretty big, and we've got some weathering we need to do down here to make sure we don't lose any crops. Yeah, you're right. I'll head out first thing in the morning. Let's get to work before the storm gets here. You go make sure the water filtration system's covered, and I'll go tarp the garden. Sounds good. Hey, Carl, I'm going to head up to the radio room and put out an alert to all the camps and the settlements to the south to warn them about the storm. Uh, attention, uh, attention. To anyone listening, if you're located to the southeast of the White Spring, please take note. An extremely large radiation storm is headed your way. If you have no protective gear or the ability to block any radiation in any way, please take shelter immediately. I say again, anyone located in any region to the southeast of... We are watching. We are the keepers of existence. We are many. We have seen you all. The radio was just shut off. The days of the dry lands are over. 
and the rains are coming. The hell? All will be held responsible for their day within the reckoning. We are watching. We are the keepers of existence. We are many. was that? It, it's like all the power has been cut to the transmitter. That's strange. This is very strange. The coordinates for this transmission are showing all over the map. Every relay point is broadcasting that message. What the hell? This is... This is totally impossible. If I'm reading this right, it shows that the broadcast even came right here from Omega. What the f... One thing at a time, Brian. One thing at a time. I'm just gonna get some rest. I can figure this out when I get back from Morgantown. You know, I've always enjoyed the trek up here to Morgantown. Something about the houses on VTU campus, Greek Row, and you can tell that this area was really a place of a lot of parties before the bombs. It reminds me. I need to stop by and see Biv at the speakeasy and grab some of that tick blood tequila before I head home for Carl. It's Stores all busted up, man. Looks like I'm not alone up this way. There's probably some raiders, some sort of feral ghouls around here, I guess. I don't know. But I, I need to be on alert. My God, this is a big super duper mart. Brings back the small memories of having to grocery shop with my mom. <laughs> Man, I hated tagging along for those trips. This place looks like it's been looted pretty hardcore. It's strange, it's... covered in wildlife and flora and... Fog. It almost looks like the mire in here. Weird. Right, let's see. Which aisle is going to have what I'm looking for? Aisle one. Bread and fresh produce. No. Let's see. It looks like aisle 12. Cleaning supplies and health and beauty aids. Yeah, that's where I need to go. Oh, wow. There's got to be at least 15 boxes of Abraxo here. Didn't say how many you needed, so I'm just going to grab a couple just to be safe. It's never a bad thing to have more than one. What's that? There's an orange glow coming from the back of the store. It's this mist covering the floor. It's like the orange glow is coming from inside that meat freezer. Alright, 
This is weird. This is really weird. All along the back wall are what looks to be a row of cocoons. Let me cut one of these open. Whoa. Whoa. What the f- These are- These are all filled with dead bodies. These are all dead mothmen. Their eyes are gouged out and their- Teeth look like they're ripped from their mouths. What was that? Come on, man, get it together. I think I need to take a picture of some of these cocoons and research more later on to see what they could be. This is, this is way too strange to ignore. Hello? Who's there? Alright, all right, who the hell are you? Come on now. Just wait right there. I said don't move- a Decided to finally wake up. Welcome to our home, outsider. Looks like we need to have a little talk. This is Brian Gwatney, the creator of the Omega Broadcast, a Fallout story. I just wanted to take a moment real quick and just say thank you so much for checking out this podcast. I really hope you enjoy listening to these stories just as much as I enjoy making them. If you do enjoy this podcast, please let me know by liking, sharing, and even through your comments. Thank you again so much for your support. Remember, there's a place for you at the end. Omega. Looking for a Fallout audio drama? It's True Vault Escapades! That's right, follow the death-defying adventures of Detective Walter Camry and his vault girl Bunny as they solve the Wasteland's biggest mysteries. From the dramatic Texas prologue to the high-stakes world of New Vegas, Walter and Bunny risk it all to crack everything from murders, slaver syndicates, and corruption at the highest level in post-nuclear America. True Vault Escapades. It's a Fallout show with a detective twist. Look for True Vault Escapades wherever you get your podcasts. Hey friends, this is Robots, the creator of the Robots Radio Podcast Network and host of the two original shows on the network, the Fallout Lorecast and the Elder Scrolls Lorecast. These two shows have rocketed up the iTunes charts. They both together have over 155 star reviews in only a couple of months with bite-sized episodes that take you step-by-step step through the background of the games in the game worlds. They're thought-provoking, well-produced, and a lot of fun. I recommend you go check them out at robotsradio.net or on any podcast, reader, podcatcher, whatever you use, iTunes, Spotify. Again, that's the Fallout Lorecast and the Elder Scrolls Lorecast, available everywhere. Are you interested in keeping up with all the latest gaming news, but you're just too busy? Well, I've got the podcast for you. 
The Robots Radio Show is a daily gaming news show where I bring you in a quick format all the top news about video games, nerd culture, and even the best deals. You can find The Robots Radio Show on Spotify and Apple and all the different podcatchers, and you can join me live, twitch.tv slash robotsradio at around noon Eastern every day. Come talk about game stuff with me. Again, that's The Robots Radio Show, available everywhere. Hey there, my name's Jameson, or Big Cat. And I am Brenna, or Mother Goose. And together, we are the hosts of The DL, Weekly Gaming News. Each week, we bring you the top stories from last week, as well as something you might have missed. Our goal is to start a conversation about what's going on in the world of gaming. And every week, we have a special guest join us in the chat room, where we discuss a different gaming-related topic and learn more about our guests in the 60-second download. And if that isn't enough, we also have Slim Jims. So come and hang out with us every week and join in on the conversation. Good luck and have fun, everybody. And remember, keep your goose loose. In a world where solid-state electronics and vacuum tubes are still meta, people never stop loving atomic-powered everything. A chosen 500 stepped inside a subterranean vault to be spared the nuclear horror of the inevitable Great War. 25 years later, they emerge after the fallout settles to retake Appalachia. Among them, two former rivals whose blood feud will tear West Virginia apart in their epic struggle for survival. Chad, a vault bro who has a strength of 15, an intelligence of 2, and is a complete wasteland dickhead. Simon, a complicated anti-hero who chooses light and hope, but accidentally becomes a cannibal and wakes up naked and afraid with a Scorch Beast Queen after a date goes terribly wrong. What? I mean, it's a wild wasteland, right? This dark humor radio drama will have you driving off the road and crawling out from under the fallout. Two men. One wasteland. And so many nukes. Chad, a Fallout 76 podcast, rated R. Now streaming on your holotape player podcasty thing. You've been listening to a Robots Radio podcast. Smart shows for interesting people. Check out all the shows at robotsradio.net.